And we're back for another Community Conversations. Today we are talking about the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute, OLLI, and talking about their upcoming classes. We've got Marty Bender, we've got Tony Ann Levitt here from OLLI. Tony Ann, you are the Program Director, which is quite the impressive title. Uh, but both of you guys coming in and talking to us about the OLLI programs, we're just, I think, a couple weeks away, uh, mid-February is when the next semester kicks off. So Correct. first off, thanks for being here. Thank you. It's a little cold in the studio. Uh, I said that in my first intro before I messed up, <laughs> that it's a cold studio, but uh, we're going to have a fun couple minutes here. So let's start off, first off, just give us just the quick recap. We're not going to go a whole history of OLLI, but Tony Ann, just give me an idea, remind folks just real quick, kind of like the mission of OLLI and the overall concept of it. Sure, thanks for having us back again. So um, the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute, or OLLI, as you said, at UNH, um, we're a member-driven, volunteer-based program, and we provide courses for the enjoyment of learning to retired and semi-retired adults. We do so throughout the state. We have four learning regions uh, here in the Capital Region, Greater Manchester, uh, Seacoast, and Mount Washington Valley are our four regions. We also have been providing hybrid courses um, and have a Zoom component as well, which has been really exciting for us for those of our members who are snowbirds. And as you mentioned, it's really cold, so they might not want to be here right now, so they can still benefit from taking those classes online. I know, I could have had you Zoom in, but we're doing this in person, but the Zoom That's in. That's okay, it's worth the trip. Was some of that, was some of the hybrid a factor because of travel more so, or was that sort of a COVID era sort of discovering that that technology was possible and that did come out of COVID yeah. and it's been yeah. um, a great resource for us and a great technology to have uh, most of our courses have come back in person which is great a pillar of our program is that social engagement and opportunity yeah. um, but being able to still have members participate regardless of where they are um, has been a wonderful opportunity and it's really allowed for um, more conversation and more learning in the classroom for those classes that we can offer that that hybrid option Nice. Now, of course, Marty, we have you here. You're an OLLI member and you are an instructor. Give us... And, and more than that, I'm also the, um, I'm the leader of that, exactly what you were just talking about, the Zoom, um, yep. because we have a, uh, a movie club. The um, movie club, yeah. Yes, which is great. Um, we end up choosing a, a movie each week, um, and what we do is we rotate around and go alphabetically. Yep. And like, for example, when it was mine, uh, which was a couple of weeks ago, I suggest we, we submit two classes, um, two, two movies, and we all have to vote and decide which one which is going to be the movie we're going to discuss yep. the following Monday. And, uh, and it's very interesting because what I ended up with the last time was two Woody Allen movies. Oh, okay. um, the uh, Bananas. Yep. and love or love and death um, have you seen either of them no i've no, seen annie but, hall so right no yeah. but anyway yeah. these are great have you seen them no i have not oh. yet. well anyway so which one got picked right oh it ended up being um love and death okay um, though i would have preferred bananas but they're both <laughs> great great movies yeah and it was interesting because in our discussion afterwards um we had um several of the people who didn't like them Okay. Um, it's very, and it's, it's interesting, and that was one of the things that I've been thinking about is comedy. Um, okay. And yeah. comedy can be, um, it can put people off because it's, you don't find it funny. Um, oh, yeah. And it's, and it's great. You know, so anyway, but the thing is that we have a discussion for an hour um, every Monday afternoon, and, and we can have more people in, you know, it's mm -hmm. about like, 10 or 11 people so in, in it. Is there a cap to the number of people? I haven't said it yet. Yeah. Um, so if more people yeah. wanted to, that thought right. this was interesting, yeah. Yeah. other OLLI they, members could join the fun. Yep. Of course, they just have to be OLLI members. Just have to know? be an OLLI member. Yep. That's it. We'll say yeah. that a couple times here, but right. that definitely yeah. sounds like a fun activity and yeah. who doesn't and it, love it, discussing it? And it doesn't members. cost anything. Yep. Right. That's awesome. And now, Marty, to back up just a little bit, how did you first get involved with Ollie or hear about Ollie. What what was the backstory with that? Oh. <laughs> there might be a long story if we can I'll, get the I'll tell it, I'll tell it pretty quickly. Um, Polly Johnson, who was a very, very powerful political woman, um, mm -hmm. and she was she was big in the Pierce Mance. Yep. Um, anyway, she was a good friend of mine 
And she said, you have to go to an Ollie class. And I said, no, 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 please. I don't, I don't want to go with all those old ladies. And, and she said, you have to. And so I said, OK. And I went to um, Bob Pingree's. Um, Bob Pingree's, I believe he was, he, some, he was in here. I think he was involved with the community players at some point. Right, I've heard yeah. Being brought up. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, he did, he did a, a series called the Fabulous 50s movies, yep. which I thought, that's crazy. Anyway, it was great, and, and I've, been, I've become a great friend of Bob Pingree's ever since, yep. and I've been going to every one of his, his classes. Yep. And, yep. and anyway, I have been going to Ollie classes you know, since 2007, I understand, um, yep. and it's just been great. Um, I, I never thought it would be, and, and yet it is just, um, some of the classes have just been fantastic besides, besides Bob's. So we'll get back to um, the other, talk more about you as an instructor as well, yeah. but something you talked about where a friend told you to get involved. That sounds like mm -hmm. when we've done other shows, Tony, that that is a pretty common. It is. Um, that like a friend told me to join or I went because I knew someone else and mm -hmm. is that one of the more common ways that people get involved? It is Ollie? our number one seller is um, you know members talking to their friends, talking to family members, um, getting them involved uh, through those casual conversations. So word of mouth is our number one seller at Ollie. Um, followed closely by your show here. So that's well, why we say, keep well, having us back. Say, tell, them Marty <laughs> sent you. tell them Marty sent you a yeah. count. <laughs> that would definitely Marty. count, yep. Um, you know, yep. and so that's been a great opportunity for us. And it, it is, if you just go and try it, go test out a class. Um, we do offer the opportunity for you to sit in on a class if there are still seats um, before you join as a member. Uh, so there is that opportunity available to our community members. Uh, and I always welcome people to bring a friend or come with someone. Um, it makes you feel more comfortable. But our members are so engaged. They're so inviting. They're so welcoming. Whenever you walk into a room, they know who each other are. So if they don't know you, they're going to want to come up and say hello and find out who you are, how you heard about us, and how they can help um, integrate you into the community. It's a very loving, very welcoming uh, program. So it could be a new social circle. Yes. You, you learn something, but you're also making friends. Correct. Our uh, catchphrase is uh, come for the classes, stay for the friends. And yeah, I paraphrase. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Which you know quite well. And so that, yep. that um, through the stories in the past two years I've been here that I've heard uh, is more often than not, that's what our members are doing. They're coming to try a class and they end up meeting somebody or a few friends and, and they come back every semester to participate and to, to continue making us great. And the next opportunity, as I alluded to before, was coming up soon that, that pe folks will be able to register, what is it, sometime coming up in February? Yes. Since we're putting this out here in like mid-January, um, I think we would want to focus on that a little bit. Correct. Our yeah. registration begins on February 5th at 9 a.m. and our courses start on February 19th. Um, next week uh, we have our course previews as well. So uh, we will have those available um, and we have online previews. For, again, those who don't want to come out, we have videos online of some of our courses. Our presenters have gone and made videos to share about what they're going to be teaching this coming spring. So you can check that out on our website, too. Cool. That's awesome. And, of course, Concord TV will be one of the presenting Ollie classes as well. Yes, you so, will. We're excited. So if you want to be in the studio, maybe not on this side, maybe on the side where Matt is back there, uh, that'll be a fun opportunity. We had a great time last year doing that. So that was really cool. Now, Marty, back to you. Yeah. Um, you have quite a, a wide range of expertise uh, from what I've heard. <laughs> because I saw you've taught classes that are both on the film side, which is obviously a passion, but also mm -hmm. on the legal side because of your legal background. Um, maybe just give us an example. Okay. And so the legal, legal yep. stuff. Yep. Um, well, um, way back when I was practicing law, um, which was obviously in the 90s. Mm -hmm. um, I, was, um, I, was still, I was still being a lawyer, um, but the, the social studies teacher at Merrimack Valley, mm -hmm. um, I've been working with her for years, you know, basically going into her classes and teaching law in there because I do love teaching law. And anyway, the two of us put out a book, um, a book for the... New Hampshire Bar Association. Mm -hmm. um, they had a grant, and it was a grant. It was a uh, a book that we put out 
which was for, it was basically aimed at the high school kids. And it was a book on all of the New Hampshire cases that went before the United States Supreme Court. And anyway, uh, about 25 years later, you know, somebody was bugging me, you know, come on, teach a class, you know, teach an Ollie class. And I, th well, I said, okay, I'll, che I'll check with Joan Blanchard. She was the teacher. She's retired, of course. Um, would she do it with me? And she did. And it was great. We, um, we, we, we did over three sessions um, about, you know, some of, some of the, the great cases that went before the United States Supreme Court. And it was just fascinating, you know. I don't know whether the uh, the students found it as fascinating as I did. I'm sure, but they it was, did. but it was great, you know, because it's like, you know, if you teach, you learn, right. and and it was great, you know, because I, I of course, you know, since I hadn't been a lawyer for, you know, 22 years, um, it was great to get back into, you know, studying the law to get into it, and anyway, and it was it was just a, a great class to have fun at. The other class, which I just did, was called The Real Jewish Films. Mm -hmm. um, and I, um, I did six, six different films, mm -hmm. um, all related to Judaism. Yep. And, um, and it was, apparently, it was pretty successful. Um, all of the, um, as I understand it, all of the 15 students, they really all liked it. And so I'm gonna do it again, not this semester, but next, next fall, I'll be doing it again. Nice, that, that's yeah. exciting. So yeah. you alluded to the upcoming, are you, do you have any classes coming up in this next cycle at all? Nothing on teaching, yep. but obviously um, I started checking off my list and I have quite a few that I'm going to. That you'll be attending, <laughs> yeah? Yes. Good, yeah. good. Tony Ann, um, do you have, not to put you on the spot too much, but some examples of a couple of programs that people could be looking forward to. Sure. Uh, the, any topics, names of classes that we have coming up? Yeah, here. we have a couple great ones coming up here in the Capital Region. Um, one of those being Growing Up in Concord, New Hampshire in the 50s and 60s. Mm -hmm. That's going to be one uh, class that's done by actually the local author, Kathleen Bailey. Yep. She's coming in to teach that course for us. Mm -hmm. um, we have another one by one of our really popular presenters, Paul Brogan, and it's yep. called Hold the Freckles, Doris Day is more than fluff. Sounds interesting. Paul Brogan is fantastic. He actually yes. hosts a public access show right here mm -hmm. uh, every month called Capital Area Chat. So I'll give him a, a plug for that here. Paul is, is terrific. Yeah. yeah, we love having him. He's yep. fantastic and he's uh, really engaging in the classroom too. And then we also have another one from uh, Rabbi Robin Nafshi and it's mm -hmm. going to be about Judaism and social justice. So Good. interesting, nice. interesting yeah. course this time around. Such a wide variety of topics, history, culture. Mm -hmm. That's great. And um, besides just the classes, I know we wanted to talk about there's a few other, like the lunch and learns and a few other things that are not classes per se. I, I don't know the terminology, Correct. but other things that Ollie offers that maybe we should mention. Yes, we have. Um, just been really promoting our extracurricular activities and some of those being our special interest groups that Marty mentioned that he leads on Zoom. We also have some in person. Um, and then it, what the great thing is is that no matter what region you are affiliated with as your learning region, you can take courses and extracurricular activities uh, throughout the state. So you can participate. Um, and I, the Seacoast does a, a, a lunch bunch called uh, Tour the Seacoast, and they pick a different restaurant experience uh, uh, once a month or so, and they all go and try the new cuisine, they get the huh. history of the restaurant, and so those are great opportunities. Um, we have a, a knitting group that's just starting up in Mount Washington Valley. Uh, we have a, a lot of opportunities available for our members. So these special interest groups actually come out of courses and people just want to keep discussing the topic or they want to learn more. Um, we had a civics group just start last uh, semester from yep. the civics slam class we've had. It's been so popular and they're discussing uh, the, the founding documents of America and having discussions on those weekly. Um, so it's a great opportunity and these are um, not paid uh, opportunities for our members. So they are, yeah. uh, they're free to our members. So as long as you have that annual membership, you can participate in any of these in addition to your courses. So did the, um, the movie club, did that spark out of a particular class where then, then it just took root and it took it was, hold? Or? I would say it's, because first of all, it was it was um, Jackie Fogarty, um, okay. who I yep. think 
You know, we must know Jackie. Very active yeah. volunteer, right. wonderful woman. Right. Yeah. And Jackie, Jackie got the idea of starting up, you know, the, the movie club. And, uh, and she said that she was just too busy and would I take it over? You know, and I thought, oh, you know. But What's another yeah. thing? You already that, do so much. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I said, sure, sure. Yep. And, and it's, it's really doesn't, it's really not very much time for mm -hmm. me. You know, and of course, it's paying big bucks too. That's know. right. The, yeah. Right. The big money yeah. here. Right. Yeah. But but it, but I yeah. love the concept mm -hmm. that there there can be a topic that e either sparks from a class or it sparks from an Ollie mm -hmm. member or a community mm -hmm. member who says, "Let's just do this more often." And and I that's that. because yeah. because Jackie and and me and some others, you know, who are we we love the films, you know, and the film classes, you know, which were primarily Bob Pingree's. Right. Um, and as a result. You know, Jackie, and this was, of course, it started during COVID. Right. You know, and Jackie said, let's, you know, let's at least we can all Zoom. Mm -hmm. And it's great, you know, because we just have, you know, we have, you know, seven, seven or eight people, you know, Zooming. And, and it's great. Builds that know? connection. Yeah. And that's a great opportunity yeah. available. Yeah. Yeah. And right. eventually I get to meet people live. Yep. You know? And the great thing about them is they actually run yeah. in between semesters as well. So even though we run a fall semester mm -hmm. and a spring semester formally, our special interest groups will continue throughout the summer and the winter. So that keeps cool. people engaged. Right. It's, it keeps people engaged. And when you keep people engaged, they're more likely to stick around to that next semester that you don't potentially lose people with that kind of gap in between, yeah. I would assume. And we so. want to keep people yeah. coming back. We want to give them opportunities and, um, you know, we, our, our volunteers put so much planning into our semesters, it, it takes a lot of time. So even though we have wonderful semesters with over 150 classes each time, we still want to keep our members enjoying opportunities, being able to try different things, um, meet new people, things like that. We want to keep them coming back for more and new exciting opportunities. Yeah, for sure. Now, before we eventually wrap things up here and, and get you guys on your way, um, becoming a member, the actual membership process, could you just talk us through, I'm sure it's pretty simple, but talk us through if someone wanted to become a member and then just real a rough idea of like how they register for a class, what that's like as well. Sure. So our annual membership uh, is $40 and that yep. either runs February to February or August to August. Um, you can choose how you want that to run for yourself. Um, and then uh, each class is individual fee and that runs from $20 to $55, but it's based on the number of sessions. So our single session classes are $20 and our eight session classes are $55. Mm -hmm. So that's, um, those are the additional fees for each course, which are outlined in our catalog. And you can see that online and it's unh.edu slash Ollie, O-L-L-I. So you can go on there. Um, you can get your membership there. We have a tab in our menu bar at the top. It says membership. Um, you can register there. If um, you have questions or if you'd like assistance with that, we also have our available line. You can call us at 603-255-3553. And we're happy to help you do it all over the phone. You won't yep. have to touch a thing. Easy. <laughs> it could be easy as that. And you guys have a great staff. And are you OK with me sharing? Are we Please? allowed to show yes. this? Yeah. So here's a look at what the program could look like. I see it has Marty's name on it here, so I won't keep it. So here you can yeah. actually see my picture in there. We can see your picture on here too. Right. See right in the front there. And that's the thing. Yep. You'll probably right. see lots of friends and people you recognize <laughs> right. if you look close enough at these things too, right? Yep. So. We use photos of all of our members. Was that at White Park on the yes. front yes. cover? <laughs> yep. That's a yeah. great spot. The bridge right there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so there I am, right at the very end. Uh, <laughs> almost, they almost the cut you off. They Marty right. made it. Yes, right. <laughs> They're like, we need to just include right. Marty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's been so much fun having you guys. Thanks, Marty, for coming in. Tony, and keep up the great work. And Thank you for Thanks for everything back. Ollie does. Yeah. Um, I think that's going to wrap it up. But um, we'd like to thank our audience for watching Community Conversations. Um, we keep bringing topics back that people want to learn more about. So certainly, also, if you heard about Ollie through Concord TV, you know, you could give a mention. You could say Marty sent you. Oh, right. well, Marty sent you. Um, and until next time, thanks for watching Community Conversations. Have a good one.